hi ho you guys. Listen, um, I've got a bunch of stuff coming together that's going to kind of force me to do a project here on the house uh, over the next couple days. And it comes at me from a whole bunch of different directions. Uh, so I thought as I do this project, I would kind of make a little video mini-series of it and share with you guys some of my ideas and maybe get feedback from you in the process. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of stuff coming together. I'm going to jump around a little bit with this explanation, but uh, hopefully um, uh, we'll get there. The sun's kind of in my eyes. So, But uh, I've been trying to paint the house. I'm going to do some touch-up on this wall yet. Um, but I'm trying to get as much of it done as I can before snow flies. And I don't know if I'm going to make it, but I came around this corner and I was going to do this wall. And it's, oh, 30 some odd feet long. And I just repainted this two years ago. Uh, but it's already in real bad shape. A uh, little uh, story for you, a little history. I'll make it as short as I can. But uh, uh, this part of the house... Uh, I know that two guys hand dug the basement um, during the Great Depression. Car is coming, so hopefully you can still hear me. And then this part of the house was brought in, moved from a farm not too far ago, far away, by an Amish crew, and it took 12 draft horses to pull it. That's kind of a cool deal. Um, the garage. And the north side of the house, back over there, um, got added on in 1971. I've found a bunch of clues to kind of show that. Uh, so this is, uh, what is that, 43 years old? And this part of the house is at least 80 years old. Uh, I don't know anything about the history of it before it got moved here. So it could be over 100. The siding... Uh, I don't know if it's ever been replaced, but I know on this part of the house it's in much worse shape than the addition, so it's a, well over 40 years old, and it's done. It just won't hold paint anymore. Uh, every summer I spend uh, weeks and weeks and weeks trying to get some of it painted, caught up. Uh, it's full of rot. Uh, I'm just having to do all kinds of repairs all the time, and I'm really tired of it. So, I am going to soon have to reside the house. And I did some uh, research and uh, got a bunch of prices on stuff uh, because, uh, frankly, we're poor folk. I can't really afford a whole bunch of money to do this. Um, they don't, I'm sure they make it, but I haven't been able to find, this is pine lap siding. And they don't make it anymore, or if they do, it's going to be real special order expensive. I was able to find cedar lap siding in a 10 inch, 9 and a half inch width. And um, I could replace it that way, but I'd be right back into the same situation, having to repaint it every five years. Um, I'm trying to get to the point where I don't have to do any of this so I can go on and spend my time in the summertime working on projects that get me more self-sufficient as I go along. Here comes another car. Uh, anyhow, the cedar lap siding is $3.18 a square foot. I kind of did a real rough uh, pace off around the house. Um, I didn't count the peaks of the gable ends or to subtract any of the windows or anything, but this section wall right here is nine and a half feet tall, and so uh, total would have come to uh, replace with the cedar lap siding, oh, $8,800, $9,000, and I don't have it. Um, I could go with the cement uh, siding. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen some of that stuff before. You know what I'm talking about. One of the major manufacturers, Hardy Plank. Uh, $1.56 a square foot. $4,300 to do the house. Vinyl siding. A lot of people around here are putting on vinyl siding. I have never seen a house that lasted more than a couple of years without holes 
and cracks all over in the vinyl siding. It gets cold, all you got to do is breathe on it, it cracks. The color fades eventually. Uh, to me, it's just not a very good long-term option. So, um, <coughs> we had a new metal roof put on the house uh, this past spring. And so I thought, well, um, what if I did that? A lot of people might not think it's terribly attractive. I think I can do it well enough to uh, to make it pretty attractive. And uh, you can get it in almost this uh, barn red color that we're trying to transform the house to. So my plan is, as I get tax refunds or am able to scrape money together, maybe do a wall at a time in the future. Uh, Alright, so... Uh, let me switch gears a little bit. So I came in here, I started scraping this wall and my putty knife went right through into the siding and I just replaced a section of this wall uh, in here uh, four years ago and that's why it's got a uh, vapor barrier now. So I thought well I'm gonna have to patch it. So I start tearing the stuff off and what do I find? I don't know if you can see this. Let me get rid of this paper. I don't know if you can see this here. Uh, maybe this. Um, uh, maybe you can see it. Termites. There were live buggers running around in here. Uh, so I do have to just tear this whole section apart. I can't afford a... Uh, exterminator to come in. I'm going to have to treat it myself. I think I figured out how to do that. Uh, but i got to tear everything apart. i got to make sure the framing is still in good shape so the wall did not come down. Redo everything. And uh, while I'm in there anyhow, uh, part of a project I've been planning for a long time because uh, uh, our house is heated with an electric heat pump. We try to burn a lot of wood. Uh, but even if I were burning, uh, heating 24-7 with wood, um, you still got to go into woods, chop it, cart it back, split it, a chainsaw, fuel, bar oil, the fuel to go back and forth with your vehicle. All of that is not self-sufficient stuff. Uh, you could use an axe and a, a buck saw and do it by hand, but... I'm not getting any younger and I don't want to do that so uh, everything I can do to reduce the amount of fuel, uh, wood or electricity that it takes to heat our house is going to be a plus. So I've come up with an idea I call it an external Mooney wall and I'll try to put a link on the video uh, to start as I do this as I if I got to spend the money for the insul for the uh, siding anyway I might as well super insulate the house we've got pretty good insulation in the attic we'll add to that eventually and the idea is to uh, make the house as tight as it possibly can for an 80 year old house so I'll be doing a lot of that stuff I'll be treating for termites I'll be replacing siding all kinds of stuff and we'll do a whole series over the next I don't know, a few days to a couple of weeks, depends on how long it's going to take me. And uh, we're going to work on this window a bunch and do some stuff there and uh, all that kind of stuff. So there's kind of an introduction to this little video series. I hope you get some ideas. I hope you can uh, help me out with some comments and we'll get through this.